Here we're taking the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the cubed root of x to the 6 plus 8 divided by 4x squared plus the square root of 3x to the 4th plus 1. When we, well for lack of a better expression, when we plug in negative infinity, what it looks like we get at first is some version of infinity divided by some other version of infinity. Also, when we take a look at the degrees of the polynomials on the top and the bottom, it appears that the degree in the top is 3 goes into 6 2 times, so the degree here is 2. And the degree in the bottom is this is an x squared, and this is an x to the 4th in a square root, so this would also have degree equal to 2. So it looks like we've got comparable degrees, and as x approaches negative infinity, or as x decreases without bound, we can probably multiply by some the same value in the top and the bottom to figure out what this goes to. So let's get rid of all that and do some calculus. So what we're going to multiply by to clear up our fraction here is since we have degree 2 in the top and the bottom, we're going to multiply both the top, oh that doesn't look good, let's start that fraction over, both the top and the bottom by 1 over x squared. Now, when we put any kind of number into a cubed root, there are a couple things to note. First of all, when you're putting any value into a cubed root, you need to cube it. So this 1 over x squared, when put into the cubed root, is going to turn into an x to the third, an x to the sixth. So this will be the limit, oops, the limit as x decreases without bound or approaches negative infinity of a gigantic mess. Cubed root of x to the sixth plus 8, and this is going to be divided by both of them, x to the sixth, x to the sixth. Let's remember we are cubing this x squared. So when we cube the x squared up here to put it inside, it's going to multiply the exponent by a, six, by a 3 to get x to the sixth. Now, when we put this 1 over x to the 6th through the denominator, at first, not much changes. So let's see, we've got 4x squared plus the square root of 3x to the 4th plus 1. And when I distribute the 1 over x squared through, nothing changes out here, so this will just be divided by x squared. But, again, just like in the cube root in the top, when I put an x squared into a square root, you need to square it. So this will be x to the fourth, and this will be x to the fourth. Okay. Now, one note about negatives. Normally, when we have x is going to a negative infinity, and we're putting that negative value into an even root, like we have over here, Normally, we have to really be concerned with putting negative numbers into square roots, fourth roots, or other even roots. We do not have to worry about putting them into odd roots. It's perfectly okay to put a negative number into an odd root by cubing. In this case, though, we're actually okay both for the top and the bottom because the degree of the exponent, uh, the degree of the numerator and the denominator is a 2. So, x going to negative infinity is still going to turn into a positive value on both the top and the bottom because we have x squareds. So we actually are perfectly okay taking these x squareds and dividing them through the numerator and the denominator without making any other adjustments. Okay, let's continue with our problem. So this is going to be the limit as x approaches negative infinity. Now let's reduce our fractions here. We have in the top x to the 6th over x to the 6th is 1. And this 8 over x to the 6th does not reduce. So that stays. In the bottom 4x squared over x squared is 4 plus 
in the square root. The x to the fourths are going to cancel, so this is just left with a 3, and then 1 over x to the fourth remains. Okay, last thing to do before we can start calculating is look at what our limits are going to. So these limits right here, 8 over x to the 6, as the denominator x to the 6 gets larger and larger and larger, that fraction is getting closer and closer and closer to 0. And likewise in the denominator, 1 over x to the 4th, as x gets larger and larger and larger, this denominator is, or this fraction is also getting closer and closer to 0. So what we're left with is... As x goes to negative infinity, the cubed root of 1 plus 0 in the top over 4 plus the cubed root of 3 plus 0 in the bottom, leaving our answer as 1 over 4 plus the square root of 3. Finished.